right, so what is owner financing exactly? What is it, who's it for, and how does it work? Okay, great. So uh, owner financing is exactly what it is by definition. It's the owner financing something they own to somebody who wants to buy it. In this case, we're talking about houses. So if you were interested in buying a home, but maybe couldn't get a bank loan, you could come to me if I own a home that I'm either gonna rent or sell to somebody. And you could say, hey, I want to actually buy your home and I wanna give you 30 grand down. Let's say my home's $300,000. I wanna give you 10% down and then I wanna make payments on the rest of the equity in the home until you're paid off. And someone who might be already in the process of renting the home out or selling the home might be inclined to do that with you if it makes sense for them, if they like the amount down you're bringing, if they like you as a borrower, um, and if they can get more money for the property, then people will definitely do that for you. Uh, most of the people who are getting into owner financing fall into one of three categories. They're gonna be people with bad or no credit, they're gonna be people who are self-employed, or they're gonna be people who have an I-10 and not a social. So there's actually more people that would wanna buy with owner financing, there's investors, there's people who want more anonymity. There's people who want to buy a home and not have it on their credit. But these are the three most common people that are gonna be purchasing a home with owner financing. So if you fall into one of these categories, but you've got a down payment, uh, you've got income, you can definitely afford the mortgage payments. If you're already paying rent, then you know you can afford a mortgage payment more than likely. So if, if you have those things, then there is nothing holding you back from actually going and purchasing a home right now instead of waiting and renting for years while you work to repair your credit or work for that bankruptcy to fall off or get more consistent income. Some, some, some people who are self-employed make more money than your average worker, but they uh, write off all their income. So they don't, the bank won't approve them because their tax returns reflect very little income. So that's usually who uh, owner financing is for. Uh, but again, there's other categories. There's lots of reasons why you'd want to buy a home with owner financing. For sure. Is it legal? Is it safe to do? Absolutely legal. Uh, there's laws governing it all over the country. Uh, Dodd-Frank will still apply in some cases, and in other cases it will not. So it's very easy for you as a buyer, as long as you're using the right instruments to purchase the property, you know, the mortgage, deed of trust, purchase agreements. As long as you have all those things, you can do contract for deed, lease option, you can, use, you can use all these strategies to purchase the home this way without having to go through a bank and getting rejected by the bank. Um, it's just important that you make sure you're doing it the right way, you're working with someone who's legitimate, uh, and that um, usually you'll wanna have a third party who's overseeing the transaction and is neutral, like a title company or attorney that is well-versed in owner financing. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this process, click the video or the link below uh, there's more videos that we have that go into depth about these processes, what to look for, what's going to be better for you. And then if you want to look at a, a list of current inventory and get a feel for what's out there, you can go to simplestarthomes.com and take a look at homes that are already in inventory that you could literally go and buy uh, either on a rent-to-own contract or with owner financing today.